want it really thin. So you just barely want to dip it and then you want to wipe it off. Well, one of the important things that we try and do is uh, teach uh, aquatic ecology, teach about salmon and Idaho native fishes in a variety of ways um, to to kind of attract all different learners and give everybody a little something. And so Gyutaku is a way to incorporate uh, an artistic side into that. Gyutaku began 2,000 years ago in the Orient. It was originally done to document the size and species of a fisherman's catch. Now it has transformed into an art form. So kids can learn about the parts of the fish. And one neat thing about it is they actually get to get their hands on uh, a real fish, not live. Uh, they're dead at this point, but um, to see a real salmon. Just like that. No, don't rub it just with your fingers. Okay? Gyo means fish, and taku means a rubbing or impression. So the idea is to lightly paint the fish. I like this. Yeah, it's scary. It's gross. And then create a print by rubbing the paper on the colored fish. You know, there are different colors of paint, and you can see the creative wheels turning in the kids' minds as they think, well, what color should the fins be? <laughs> and if you want to do the fins or anything, a different color, just let me know. Or they don't realize maybe that how much they're learning about the anatomy while they're doing it, because it's fun. But with all fun activities, there's, a, there's an element of education to it that's pretty important. Are you ready to see it? So how does this get kids outside? That is beautiful. Gyo Taku can be the first step to developing an interest in nature and the outdoors. And for teachers, it's a beginning, a simple tool that exposes students to all outdoor Idaho has to offer. All the time we're in textbooks and reading print, this for them, they take home the reality, the reality of, of Idaho. Isn't it beautiful here? <laughs>